By 2025, half the world is projected to live in countries that won't be able to feed themselves simply because they don't have enough water. My book is Water, the Epic Struggle for Wealth, Power, and Civilization. And I wrote the book because I started to think about what's as important or more important than oil to our daily lives and to our society. And the answer came back, water. Water is our most important economic resource and it's indispensable to everything that we, everything that we do. And we are frankly running out of fresh water in this world and we are also using it wastefully. Examples abound throughout history, in every era and in every part of the world where water has played a central role in the rise and fall of great powers and turning points of civilization. Take the very beginning of civilization itself. It arose with the control of river water for irrigated agriculture in Mesopotamia, Egypt, the Indus, and northern China. Rome's stupendous aqueducts, which provided abundant fresh water for its cities and its military outposts, was paralleled its rise as a great power. In the Middle Ages, China was the great civilization. It rose when it completed the, the Grand Canal, 1,000 miles long, uniting its southern region with its northern region. In more modern times, the steam engine was the seminal invention of the Industrial Revolution, which reached an apogee in the 20th century with the giant dams that provided hydropower, irrigation, and flood control. If we succeed in allocating water more efficiently, this country and Europe will see an economic growth that I can only liken perhaps to the discovery of oil in Texas early in the 20th century. Writing water has been a revelation to me because it has recast fundamental views of the forces driving world history and our current affairs. I think readers will find it useful and relevant for the same reason.